Hi, welcome to the McGuire Review, and I'm going to be taking a look at a couple uh, action figures out of the McFarlane Toys line that are from the Walking Dead series that we've got here on AMC. Uh, awesome uh, TV series. I mean, there's tons of people that that watch The Walking Dead. It's it's one of the the most successful TV series, uh, definitely that AMC has. And and um, <clears throat> uh, what I want to do here is take a look at the Rick Grimes from the 10 inch series, and the Daryl Dixon from the 6 inch series. This is actually the deluxe model, so I'll open both of those here in a second. And I did get both of these from uh, BigBadToyStore.com. Uh, you'll you can find the link I'll put in the description below. Uh, great place. You know, to get, have all your stuff consolidated, all your toy needs in one spot, uh, U.S., and they've even got the, or on the U.S. side, and they've got, you know, most of all your imports and everything. They've got good shipping, quick turnaround. I've I've been really happy with them so far. Uh, they do put a little card in each one of their uh, shipments there that does show you the website as well as, you know, various uh, types of toys that they have. So, um. all right. <clears throat> Let's uh, let's get into the the, the Rick Grimes first. Uh, again, this is from the 10 inch series, and at the end here, I'll post some pictures, uh, nice and close up of the model, so you can see the detail. And I'll say right off the bat, I'm highly impressed with the detail on these 10 inch figures. Um, this runs, uh, it's right around the thirty dollar mark. I can't remember exactly, it might have been thirty two, maybe twenty nine, but it's right around that thirty dollar mark. Uh, and for what you get for 30 bucks, it's really fantastic. I mean, it's got excellent packaging um, all the way around. <clears throat> you know, nice, nice shot of him here on the side. And then on the back, it, it shows uh, a larger version of the 10-inch model of him. And then as well here in the bottom, these aren't all 10-inch figs. This is actually from their 6-inch um, uh, line there that you'll find at the bottom. This This size. So kind of first the the window box there. Uh, if you're if you're the type that keeps it in the package, uh, great packaging. You can keep that right in the package. See it from the front. See it from the top. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, I I am more of an out of the box fig kind of guy. You can see I've got various cases of figs around me, and I've got a few more on the other side of the room. So I kind of like to take mine out of the box. I'm gonna open this up and just a uh, little little tip here. When you open this. If you are, open it from this side and not the side with the picture, because if you open it from the side of the picture, the bending of that box is going to kind of crease his face after a while. Um, I saw that on another review. Somebody else took a look at this. So I'm going to pull this out here. Okay. He's right out of the box. I'm going to set this down to the side. I'll put it over here. Looks like we've got a couple pieces of tape on the side. All right, comes right out of there. Got a nice railroad track background there in the back of that box. Snap these off. Yeah, it's just a small, a small knife. It's got one, uh, one kind of, <clears throat> you know, the little rivet they put in it uh, on one side, and that's it. Um, just your standard looking knife. I'll tell you, the model really looks, really looks good. And there's a couple different poses that you can put him in, uh, very similar to your Kotobukiya type, uh, type statues. And uh, right out of the box, this one's nice. I mean, just having him kind of in that. Uh, kind of that flexed pose, holding the uh, holding the rifle. You can put his knife, his hands set up to grip that knife. Um, he's also got another knife on on his back belt here, which looks really good. A couple pouches, a handcuff pouch, uh, ammo pouches. His holster. I mean, everything just looks really, really nice. The detail of this is is great, and you can see the scale there. Um, 
it's a good size. I mean, it's a, you know, it's 10 inch and it, uh, it looks really good. I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed with the amount of detail they've got in the shirt. Um, the sculpt is, is perfect. And with these 10 inch models, they actually digitally scan the actors. So the sculpt is, is dead on. The only thing that I'll say, looking it over here really well, and I noticed this when it was in the package, uh, the only thing that I see that would be off on this fig would be right on his, and you're not going to be able to see this, I'll show you a close up later, but right on the tip of his nose, it's, it's like scuffed, and um, it took the paint right off. And normally I'd probably send this back and look for a replacement, but since everything else is so dead on, I'm uh, probably not going to do that. Um, there's a couple couple splotches here with some of the silver on the on the on the buttons, but I've got some. Uh, I also paint miniatures, so I've got some pretty good painting skills. I can I can clean that up no problem. Just need to match the flesh tone, and you'll never see it. So uh, not really worried about that. Now, some of the other, and I'm going to set him down because I'm afraid I'll bump the table and he's going to fall right over. He does come with uh, one uh, different arm, which is uh, kind of extended out there, which you can replace here and have him holding his legendary revolver that he uses in the show. So this is kind of a... Um, <clears throat> It's kind of an iconic weapon that he has and he carries. Uh, it's your classic long barrel uh, revolver. And even the the gun metal that we ha they have here, the washing, I mean, it just looks great. I'm just so impressed with uh, the quality that McFarland Toys has got uh, on this 10-inch series. So uh, they do make a uh, Daryl Dixon as well as a Michonne. Uh, in this that I'm aware of. Uh, they may have some more as well, but uh, those are two that I'm aware of. So I'll go over here and get to the Daryl Dixon. This is of their six inch line. Um, and I'll have to say again, uh, great quality with the paint job, all the buttons nicely painted, the washes look really good, the sculpt looks good. It's got decent articulation. Um, and this is the deluxe one. So this comes with, oh, if I can get it out of here. This comes with the the bike, which was a really cool ad by them. And I'll get out with me here to show that as well. Right. So here's, um, and yeah, I'll just go ahead and take it out. Here's his crossbow, and that looks really good. It's got the, uh, the, the paint splattered just right. He's got his arrows kind of under the bottom here, and there's one arrow, um, and there's one arrow cocked in the, in the bow, ready to go. That looks really nice. Um, I'm gonna leave this in, but it, it comes with a very, very small uh, blade, very small knife, which he does have a pouch um, on, his, uh, on his belt to, to put that on. And then here's the bike. And I see the bike actually comes with a, a flat peg right here at the bottom. So when you set that bike down, it's going to set real nice for you. Uh, and it looks like you, uh, you can. Yeah, you could pop that right out if you wanted to. But if you just had him kind of set up on the bike, you may want to use that, especially if he was riding the bike. It also does have, um, I believe this one has, yes, it does have a kickstand to the side that is operational. So if you wanted to take that out and have him maybe pose next to the bike, uh, you could do that and just, you know, sit the bike up by use of, um, by use of that kickstand. So you got a couple different options there uh, when it comes to display. Um, I will say the bike, let's put our uh, packs on here if you want to put those on. The bike's got great detail, uh, looks like exactly from the movie. It's got a little uh, holder up front that will actually hold his, uh, hold his crossbow if you want to display it that way. Or you can display uh, him holding the crossbow. Just put it right there on his uh, on his back. And pop this guy out real quick. Looks like that's all I need to do. Gotta watch it sometimes the plastic's a little sharp and it'll scratch your fig. Um, so it looks like he's got a single joint knee. Um, he does have a little bit of ankle movement, not not much at all. Zero pivot, uh, 
pretty much zero forward and back is not mu not much on the ankle. Um, he does have uh, some hip joints, uh, swivel uh, legs kick out pretty good both uh, forward and back. Look a little strange though if you put them back, so you probably don't want to display them that way. Um, your basic points of articulation on the elbows, some ratchets, single joint. You do have wrist full full motion. You do have full motion on the head and actually quite a bit on the head. You can't get up too far, but uh, looking down, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, and that <clears throat> looks like all you, all you get here with, uh, with this model. Again, his belt does have that one um, sheath for the smaller, and I make sure I don't forget that, throw that back, for the smaller um, knife that he comes with. And he'll set up nicely. Um, I'll, I'll do it here probably for the picture. He'll set up nicely here on this bike to, uh, to ride that bike. Have kind of that iconic uh, look that Daryl Dixon does in the, uh, in the show where he's always riding, uh, riding the bike. So... <clears throat> Uh, that would be the McGuire review. Again, this came from Big Bad, uh, BigBadToyStore.com, and uh, it's the McFarlane Toy Series. So uh, hopefully we'll see some more of these as the series goes on. Uh, just great job all around. This has been the McGuire review. Thanks.